How you guys doing? It's the ball start back with another one. Today I'm gonna show you guys my player build. As you can see, 2K lied to us again. I'm thinking that we're gonna actually get to pit every single slot that we want to put up, but it looks like they still got the little caps, the caps or whatever. But I selected the second one on that little pie chart looking thing. And then right here, I'm, I'm a point guard also. I didn't show you guys that. I didn't want to make this video too long for you guys and get you guys bored or anything like that. But I selected the highest speed for my guy. And also, you guys are gonna see my height and everything in a second here. But as a point guard, I don't feel like you need to worry about strength or anything like that or, you know, like vertical too much. You really want, you just want that speed. You know what I'm saying? So I went on ahead and selected the first one, 88 speed, 86 acceleration, you know what I'm saying? 56 strength, 78 vertical. Like I said, I'm not concerned too much about uh, strength. So, and then right here, I'm going to show you guys like the little things I upgraded. I went on ahead and did, did my shooting first. I maxed out my mid-range shot. Max that out, that goes to 81. My three-pointer goes to 80. Like this is a very ba balanced build. This is what I like about this build. I'm not gonna show you guys any gameplay, but you guys are more than welcome to try this build yourself if you want to. It's The build is good. It's, it kind of reminds me of a Westbrook type of build. I can drive really good. I'm a, I'm a pretty good dribbler, I feel like, and I can shoot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say like Curry, but I am good at shooting. I can do everything with this build, every day. You see my pass accuracy, 82. My ball handle is 82. You know, and also, like I said, I made this guy 6'5". So the thing about it, I believe my ball handle went to 79 once I made him 6'5". So people aren't really gonna be able to be too tall this year, but I don't like a super short player. Like, I might try out another build, but as of now, this is the build I'm gonna be making. He's 6'5", and I think I had his wingspan at like 81 or something, so you guys will see in a second here. But I have uh, 70 more attribute upgrades remaining. So I'm gonna try to see what I'm gonna put it as. I went on ahead and threw some of my free throw. Because you wanna have a free throw. Like personally for me, I don't just play park. I'm a pro and player too. So a free throw is gonna be important for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I did it. You know, I don't wanna not be to shoot free throws. And I got 24 attributes remaining, as you guys can see. So I went on ahead and threw it on post moves. You know, hit all the rest of that on post moves. It actually looks like I took some off. Yeah, okay, so I put post moves down because it doesn't make sense as a guard to have post moves, right? You know, but I'm still trying to, right here, I was trying to determine what I wanted to put this on because I had 24 extra points left, you know? Like I guess I feel like this build, he's, he's going to be pretty good. I feel like this build is going to be good to me, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I said, the next build I might try is a 6-4 version of this player and make his arm shorter just to make his threes go a little bit higher. But as of now, this is what I'm making. And I made my body type, you know what I'm saying, built. I made him built. I don't want no skinny little shrimp player. If you guys don't judge me, I know I'm looking a little skinny myself right now. You know, I ain't been hitting the weights, but you know, I wanted my player to be built. And I see a lot of people that are making these 6'3 guards. Me personally, I want a guard that's not only 6'3. I might go 6'4 possibly, but I can't go 6'3. That's just, this is too small for me, man. Especially, I'm not like a real good dribble guy. So this year, I'm at the practice on my dribbling and everything. So. But I made my dude 6'5 at the point guard, you know what I'm saying? And then right here, I don't believe I went max weight, I went 185. This might be the lowest weight. Yeah, I just, yeah actually this is the lowest weight for a 6'5 guy. And then right here, you know, I was messing with my wingspan a little bit, you know. Like a lot of people are going with them little T-Rex arms. I don't know, for me, I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. You know, I still feel like I'm gonna be able to shoot. Cause I'm not a super good shooter anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like my three pointer right here, if I was to make it 77, it would be at 83. So that's pretty good. You know, but I went on ahead and made it like 81 something. I don't know why, it's just like, I feel like with my longer arms, I'm able to just drive better. You know, I like what I've seen in career mode, you know, so. But nobody plays career anyway, but I'm just hoping the way that they have my guy in the demo, he'll be doing the same thing in like Pro-EM and all that type of stuff. And then I went on ahead and, you know, threw shot creator on this build, you know. I didn't really care too much about the playmaking. And look at my build. My offensive, I'm an offensive threat. I play like Steve Francis, John Wall, and Damian Lillard. I can do everything. You guys try out this build for real. I'm telling you, man. And then right here, you don't even want to mess around. This is These are test builds. So go ahead and throw this to 99 real quick. Get it out the way. And I'm going to show you guys my finishing badges and all this type of stuff. I'm going to show you guys it. Finishing badges, you wanna, I fast forwarded a lot of this stuff you guys cause I don't wanna be rambling too much, but I threw that acrobat on gold. 
or Hall of Fame actually. Threw that on Hall of Fame. Consistent finisher. Threw that on Hall of Fame. Like I said, my dude can drive and he can shoot. Contact finisher. Threw that on Hall of Fame. And you should have still got three upgrades available. Some of these badges are pointless. Really, this finisher, I threw that on gold. And still three finisher. I threw that on uh, bronze. So my dude, he can drive. I'm telling y'all, he, he can drive. He's definitely a good driver. And nobody's build is going to be the same this year, you guys. Make your build what fits best for you. If you're not a good uh, a dribble guy, don't be trying to get the highest ball handling. Do what's best for you. Do balance builds, whatever you need to do. Catch and shoot, I threw that on Hall of Fame. Difficult shots, I threw that on Hall of Fame. I believe I took corner specialist off. You guys will see in a second here. Some of this stuff I just didn't edit out. I left in here and I went back and changed it around a little bit, messed with it. You know what I'm saying? Range extender, I know I kept that on Hall of Fame. This is the only thing about this build that I was thinking. I'm like, I feel like I might tire the shooter. I might need to add that, you know, if I do make this build over. But as of now, I know I didn't throw on tireless, tireless shooter, and I know that's an important badge, you know. And for you shooters, you guys want that steady shooter also. But some of this stuff I just didn't pit on my guy. Matter of fact, corner specialist, I took that off because I'm the point guard. I'm not going to be in a corner shooting like that. That's a job for a pure sharpshooter or just a shooter in general, a spot-up type shooter. That's not me. I'm going to be dribbling the ball, creating for my teammates, passing it out to them for the shots. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't need corner specialists. I went on there and took that off. I remember I did. So, 2K, they did a lot with these badges this year, y'all. Like, what y'all, what do y'all, what do you guys think? Like, they did a lot with these badges this year. They got so many different badges. Like, and to be honest, like, this test thing, we really don't know how these, some of these badges are ever going to work out until the full game comes out. We don't know how they're going to work in park. We don't know how they're going to work in pro AM. So, all of us are throwing these videos out there, but we really don't know how these builds are going to be. But I'm super convinced that this is the build that I'm going to make. You know, like some my gut feeling is just telling me, boss, star, boss, star, make that build. Make that build. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that I'm going to make this guy. You know, like regardless of the most popular builds that's out right now, the people are making these videos, I feel like I'm going to stick with my build. If you guys try it out too, y'all let me know like what y'all think about it and everything. But you see, as you guys can see, I was just messing with it a little bit, messing with it. You know, a dead eye. I believe I upgraded that dead eye to to gold. I believe I did. We're gonna see in a second here, though. Let me see. Quick draw. See that we we went back into there. I messed around with it, and then my playmaking, as you guys can see, I had handles for days on silver. Quick first step, silver ankle breaker, silver unpluckable, silver tight handles gold the only thing about that i might i think i might end up taking tight handles off if i make this build and just pitting um handles for days up a little bit more so i don't get so tired when i'm dribbling you know what i'm saying because the stamina goes away so freaking quick this year like from all that demo when i'm dribbling my dude gets tired in like five seconds of me dribbling that ball you know i already got the red gatorade cut popping up or whatever right here i got interceptor silver pick dodger silver pickpocket silver you know what I'm saying? What else did I throw on there? Let me see. Clamps. I threw that bad boy on gold. I threw that on gold. I remember later on in the day, guys, I ain't gonna lie to you. I remember that I remade this build and I threw clamps on gold. And then I think I put Interceptor down by one on uh, bronze. So put that clamps on gold. But you guys let me know what you think of this build, you guys. Like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And I'm out.